Hello, um, I hope you're all doing well. Unfortunately, we can no longer use the music of Sousa because uh, the Buckingham Symphony Orchestra is claiming that it belongs to them, even though uh, the piece of music in question is older than any of the members of the Buckingham Symphony Orchestra. But it's fine. They're breaking the law, but it's fine. Um, so please enjoy Mozart, who's a better composer anyway. Edna, did you hear about this Buckingham Symphony Orchestra not allowing this young man to use a song that they don't even own in his videos on the YouTubes? YouTubes? Is, a, is that a thing with the cat videos? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I did hear. They must all be idiots. I mean, they can't even spell their own name right. The Buckingham Symphony Orchestra... What are they, German? I hate Germans. Nein, wir sind not German. I, I mean, uh, no, we are not German. Well, I am, but I'll go away. But that's enough about the BSO. Hiya, kitty winkles, and welcome back to my show, Bob Sponge Madman. Bob Sponge Madman. Bob Sponge Madman. Bob Sponge Madman. Doodly doo 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 doo. Anyway, in today's episode, our special word is routine. Now, if you kiddiewinkles don't know what routine means, then you are a disgrace to everyone who knows you. But if you do know what routine means, then you're still a disgrace, but you're an educated disgrace. Now, since this episode is about routines, I will show you my morning routine. Hiya, kiddiewinkles. I will now show you my morning routine. First, I put on my foundation. Now, for my foundation, I usually use cement. But just for the cameras, I'm going to use makeup. So what you do is you open the thing, and you get the thing. And you go. Go on. Now for my lipstick. Now for my lipstick, I usually use red, so I am gonna. Right, now we're on. Ah, the next line. Now that I've done my makeup, I will get dressed. Hiya, kitty winkles. Now I'm going to put on my daily clothes. Now, for my daily clothes, I usually wear nothing, but since I'm on camera, I will wear clothes. Since I always wear clothes on camera. Mostly. Hiya, kitty winkles. I think now is the time for me to tell any parents who were worried about their children being turned weird by weird people on the telly that I am not weird. I'm a completely normal person who just happens to have several mental issues. And now on with the show! And now, story time with Billy Bonkers. Hello and welcome to Storytime with Billy Bonkers, with your host Billy Bonkers. Hello, I'm Billy Bonkers and I'm Bonkers. Today on Storytime with Billy Bonkers, with your host Billy Bonkers, hello I'm Billy Bonkers and I'm Bonkers, we have a man with nine things. Hello. Hello. 
And now we go live to our very own Marcus Gremlin, who is on the scene of a bank robbery. Hello. This small town has been the scene of a horrible crime. This small bank was robbed by robbers. A local vet named Derek Clatwater saw the whole three minute event from inside the bank itself. Derek, I can call you Derek, can't I? Yes. Derek, what happened? Well, at 8.49 a.m. Two men wearing balaclavas entered the bank. One wielding machete, the other a shotgun. Now, at eight four, which one had the prettiest eyes? What? Which one had the prettiest eyes? Well, if I had to choose, I suppose the one with the machete. But uh, as I was saying, the man with the shotgun. Sorry, I'm sorry, but. I'm afraid that the little men in my ear are telling me that you are boring. So, back to the studio. And now, a new rock band performing their latest hit, Aka Aka Uku Uu Uu. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Abu Bahu Kahu or something. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for tonight. So from all of us here at the Storytime with Billy Bonkers, with your host Billy Bonkers, hello, I'm Billy Bonkers, and I'm Bonkers Studio, good night. What did you think about last night's episode of Storytime with Billy Bonkers? Well, my husband, like most people his age, is 50, and he found the show as funny as a baby's bottom. I see, and uh, what did you think of last night's show? Well, I thought the bit about the sloth was incredibly entertaining. But we cut the bit with the sloth out. How do you know about it? My mother told me. Well, could we speak to her? Who? Your mother. No, I'm sorry, but my mother has been dead for 15 years. But you just said that your mother told you about the show. Whose mother? Your mother. Yes, she did. But then how did she tell you if she's dead? Who's dead? Your mother. I can assure you that my mother is not dead. Look, here she comes now. Just cut.